great scarecrow with his own fair gas and the scarecrow was the so he takes Rachel and he found out that the scarecrow was working for Razal Ghul. And So Batman and Gordon come up with a plan to save Rachel and he this is probably drops this little thing that was attached to a shoot that it sends the bats and he blows up these two the swan doors and it walks right through them and He meets up with Gwanin and he says he'll take his car and he Gwanin shockingly has actually has a kind he loves that car. Uh because it's a really nice car. Um and so there's this cop chasing, the cops are chasing Batman. Batman's riding on the rooftops. Then he gets to the back cave as Rachel looks like she's body can't take much more of the poison. So he quickly gets the antidote and gives it to Rachel and tells her to give it to Gorney and tells her for, to give the other one to Gorney for other people to make more antidote for other people because we need because to be prepared and So, Bruce is at the piss party and he tells Lucius Fox uh, about pouring water and pouring the, uh, oh, the entire Scarecrow, Scarecrow, like his, the, the Scarecrow's, um, fair gas formula pouring it completely all of it into the water supply, and, Lucius mentions what they mentioned three times in the movie. That you would need a giant microwave that... That you would need a giant microwave to make it work. And... That was stolen. That was two times he mentioned it was stolen. And. And. 
Anyway, so, uh, Bruce finds out that Rachel Ghoul has been invited to his party and finds out that he knows that he's not Rachel Ghoul, but finds out that Liam Mason is Rachel Ghoul. And he gets everyone to go by telling them go piss off and go home. It's not a joke. So... Liam Neeson, Rachel Gould, burns his place down. And my dad's sleeping. And no, that's not gonna work. I can't see my face. And so he they burned down his place. He leaves Bruce Wayne for dead, like he left him for dead. And he says that makes them even when Bruce Wayne did not leave him for dead. Um. How okay, can almost in, almost all this movie? <laughs> and Alfred helps him lift up the lock and uh, look, tries to lift up the uh, piece of wood and says, it's coming, what's with all of those push, what could, what's with all the push-ups that you can't even do this? So Bruce, somehow, he can lift it up, so, and they all go down to the back cave. And Bruce has a very sad moment when he realized what the hell he's done. He wanted to save Gotham. And Alfred says, do you know why we fall so we can learn to pick ourselves back up? And Bruce says, you still haven't given up on me? And he says, never. So... So the fear gets so so the fear so the the so the antidote is given to go on in and Rachel protects this kid and the gas the uh, the fear gas is unleashed by Rachel Cole. That's the microwave, the giant microwave. And... Batman suits up and shows up and Guess is common from Liam this you took my advice of theatrical literally. I'm impressed. <laughs> um so Batman tells he needs his uh, Gordon's help to stop the train. So he asks if he can drive a stick. I'm assuming he said yes because he's driving the Batmobile.
which isn't a stick. Wait, why would he ask that? Okay, so, and Batman gets on to the train and fights Rachel Ghoul and takes him down and has and Commissioner Gordon blows the train tracks up and decides that, and he throws bat, two bat rings one at the window one to separate the train and somehow that works I don't understand the first don't understand how that works and um he decides he's not going to kill Rach, but he's not going to save him either. So he just glides right off of the train and he saves the day and she's cut back to him rebuilding Wayne Manor. And there's a scene when Rachel asks, who he was, and he says, not who I am, it is what I do that find me. And she said that to Bruce Wayne and seen earlier. So Rachel meets up with Bruce as he's repairing Wayne Manor and says that Bruce Wayne is now his mask and the man that she loved never really return and in hopes that one day he'll return um, so Bruce Wayne looks at these um, and, um, what are they call Dr. Shoes, um, they use them to check people's heart. Um, anyway, uh, he sees that. This is gonna bug me, okay. Uh, he sees that all burnt up and cuts back to a flashback when he used that to check his dad's heart. And I guess that's a little moment there. But that also happened earlier on in the film. That scene, exactly. Yeah, remember when he was about to kill Joel Chill? Well, before that, when he was, uh, before that happened, he pulled out the little uh so he pulled out that the thing he used to check his father's heart and it cuts to the same exact moment he had anyway um jim Gordon and batman or Lieutenant, Lieutenant Gwen now is. No, it's Lieutenant Gwen. Uh, um, now, so Gwen and Batman are on a rooftop with the bat signal and He tells a little that this 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 new guy that's into it, that's into theatrical like you. I think right like him and it's the Joker card. And he says he'll look right into it. And he's Glenn says, I never got a chance to thank you. And Batman turns around and says, you never have to. And 
glides right off and the credits roll.